are exploring Broadway's national tour, Something Rotten, by having something fresh happen in Lexington and Leesville, South Carolina. And so I want to share with you a little bit of that show so that whenever we explore the different things from the show, this series, you'll have uh, more fun with it. Uh, so the story starts off with two brothers who want to be playwrights. They want to make it big, but they have absolutely nothing. So we'll start off in corpse pose. As you remember, that's when we lay on your back. You can have your knees tented, uh, what feet wide and knees together, or you can stretch your legs out long. We're going to start out here in corpse pose to remember that they have absolutely nothing, but they're really interested in having something. And so the dealio is they really want to have as much as Shakespeare has. So bring your knees to your chest, jelly rock side to side, roll to your favorite side, push into the mat, and come up nice and tall, and let's try a warrior position. So with warrior, you've got one leg forward, one leg back, you bend that knee, and then you stretch your leg. We're gonna call uh, Shakespeare the warrior here because he is the rock star of the age. As we explore the Renaissance, everybody thinks he's the bomb.com, all right? Uh, Nick Bottom really, really struggles with trying to support his family. He wants to uh, support his brother, his wife. He doesn't feel like she should go out and have to work. And so he's trying to find this unique balance um, for better or for worse. All right, so we're going to balance in Warrior Three for this part of the story. So balance, fill the uh, ground with that foot, really fill the earth, and then kick down the opposite leg back, tip into it, belly button to the mat, reach your wings out to explore Warrior Three and that balance of trying to make everybody happy. All right, don't forget to try these things on both sides of the body, but we'll now see what he does next. Next, what he does is he thinks if he goes to a soothsayer and he finds out what Shakespeare's next big hit is, then everything will be just grand, all right? So unfortunately, he goes to Nostradamus' nephew, who is not quite as sharp and clear as his uncle, and so he learns uh, that um, uh, a musical uh, would be ne Shakespeare's next big hit, and it will be called Omelette. To omelet the musical. So we have some egg blocks today to try some fun things. Uh, one thing you can do with it is the chair posture. You can take an egg in between the thighs. You can take one hand up, uh, both hands up, holding one egg rather, and you can find that form of chair posture with the egg blocks. Um, we'll use them with other things, but we're going to explore Omelette the musical. Um, the, he, uh, Nick Bottom incorporates his younger brother, who's so good with words. Uh, he's actually very talented and a poet, so find your poetry. Take one foot, grow roots into the ground, take the opposite, and you can rest the heel right here on top of that foot, or you can kickstand it to the ankle, or maybe bring it up to the calf, or if you're feeling very strong and balanced today, you might want to try it at the thigh, and you can grow branches if you would like to explore your poetry. The Puritan minister's daughter and the uh, younger brother uh, both enjoy poetry. So this becomes a love triangle. So bring down the leg of that tree, shake out that standard leg. It was working hard and try a triangle with your egg blocks. We'll take one foot forward and one foot back. Reach the arms out like a letter T. Breathe in. And then pop that hit out, reach over that forward toe and roll down one egg to the ground, one egg up high as you explore how the Puritan minister and the daughter and the son, the, uh, the brother, uh, Nigel Bottom, have kind of a triangle in this story. Huh, not so healthy one. Alright, breathe and be strong in the lower body, come on up. I'm going to get towards the end of the story where Shakespeare starts to catch on that they are exploring his next idea. So he sneaks in to be a member of the cast um, of that musical, the, the omelet musical. So find your cow and your cat and kind of be sneaky. Kind of look up into what's going on and then exhale. And then round that back, take the hips to the heels. Breathe in for a breath. You just move at your pace. All right. Oh, and then everything kind of just blows up. So we'll go to Apanasa, Apanasa pose, um, which is also lovingly referred to as breaking wind pose, where you take one leg out, one leg to the chest, or a jackknife position, great for digestion and working things through the body. Remember to do both sides as you breathe and stretch. 
All right, and that brings us to the end of our story where they are in front of a judge and jury, but thank goodness B, um, uh, Nick's wife, it comes to save the day, and thank goodness she's a strong character in this story because she actually gets them excommunicated to the new world. They're banished, or banished, uh, to the new world. So get in your boat and travel to the new world where they can have a, a baby and a new life and start something fresh.